Strathay Suspension Bridge over the River Dee was constructed in 1834. It provided carriage access to Balmoral Castle, the private residence of the British monarchs. In later years, vehicular traffic was transferred to the more robust Balmoral Bridge and this one was retained for pedestrians only. It's a Category A listed structure. When completed, Crathy Suspension Bridge was the main approach to nearby Balmoral Castle, replacing the local ferry. So we're back um, at the same road we were on yesterday when we walked to the Bothy. But what we're going to do today is do the Balmoral Cairns walk. We're going to head up here to Prince Albert's Cairn, which is the biggest cairn and probably the most popular. We're going to do that first and hope that it's quieter. And we'll see, see how we feel. It's a bit drizzly just now, but um, if it clears up, we'll be do the whole route, um, which takes in the cairns on the other side of this uh, road. So we'll see how we go on. The route I used for the Balmoral Cairns walk is from Walk Highlands. It's 6 miles and 371 metres of ascent and should take between 2.5 and, and 3 hours. The route isn't recommended when the royal family are resident at Balmoral. The route is normally walked in an anti-clockwise direction, visiting Prince Albert's Cairn last. However, as it was so busy, and I wanted to film, I decided to do it in a clockwise direction, visiting Prince Albert's Cairn first. So we've already uh, passed the first cairn, but there was a family uh, starting to take pictures and so on, so we didn't stop. But it's a really nice path through the woods. That's a pretty steep path coming up through the woods. It's kind of relentless really. But I've got my first sighting up there through the trees. Just up there of Prince Albert's Cairn. It's massive. This is the largest cairn on the walk, Prince Albert Cairn, and was erected by Victoria in memory of her husband, Prince Albert, after his death in 1861. Yeah, pretty impressive, wow. Sun's coming out for us. This way, go round this side. So the hills aren't as clear today, obviously. Prince Albert died suddenly of an illness in 1861 at just 42 years old. His death sent a heartbroken Victoria into depression. She withdrew from public life and mourned him by wearing black for the rest of her reign.
The inscription on Prince Albert's cairn reads, To the beloved memory of Albert, the great and good Prince Consort, erected by his broken-hearted widow, Victoria R., 21st of August, 1862. Come, Rora! Come! <laughs> she's happy, she's off the lead. Hello, here's another doggy. Hello. Oh, you're having so much fun. <laughs> oh, she's mental. Mental. So that's us just coming down to the track we were on yesterday when we headed up up that way to the Bothy. <clears throat> so as far as I could see there was only two cairns so far, Prince Albert's cairn which was the big one and then one um, that we didn't stop at um, before Prince Albert's cairn. So that's the way we've come down and this is us back on the track that we started on and that we were on yesterday. Yesterday we headed away up that way. So I've um, got my GPS here so we're basically heading down this track and then we meet another track and we turn left. Yeah so we take a left here. brought the GPS because it's not waymarked this walk there we go we've gone this way right through this wee gate come on oops 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 manage there we go Safely negotiated the gate. <laughs> oh, drizzle. That's the rain on again. It's not supposed to rain today.
So we've just turned off the main track onto this wee track here. I think the rain's off. Right, you can probably get off the lead, Brora. After visiting Prince Albert's Cairn and stopping for a bit of lunch, it was time to explore the cairns on the other side of the track. There are 14 stone cairns on the Balmoral Estate in Deeside, including a single cairn on the adjoining Burke Hall Estate. The cairns commemorate members of the British royal family and events in their lives, often marriages. The majority of the cairns were erected by Queen Victoria. statue of John Brown, Queen Victoria's friend and gilly. Friend more than servant, loyal, truthful, brave, self less than duty, even to the grave. I only discovered later that I'd missed a couple of cairns on the walk, Princess Louisa's cairn and Princess Helena's cairn. A good excuse to go back. So that's us almost finished the walk. We're back on this um, main track again. We've seen all the cairns. So I really enjoyed that walk. Really nice. Bro's had lots of fun running about. So I hope you enjoyed this wee video. We're going to make our way back to the main car park near Balmoral and uh, chill out for a wee while. We'll probably drive back to the campsite and just have a chill out. I might put a movie on. So thanks so much for watching.
and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! This stone is erected in affectionate and grateful remembrance of John Brown, the devoted and faithful personal attendant and beloved friend of Queen Victoria, in whose service he had been for 34 years. Wow. Hey, Brora. Let's go.